Hi guys, having trouble with my cheap uh, cigarette lighter extension in the car. Had trouble with the plug that goes into the dashboard and replaced it with this nice purple one. And it works fine, only recently it stopped working. Now, I was going to rig up the meter to demonstrate, but I can actually see what the problem is. That wire there has broken. So rather than waste my time setting up a display, I'm just going to replace the wire because I'm guessing that the wire they've supplied is really cheap stuff. It's broken several times. It usually breaks on the solder joint inside, but that's just broken on the bend there. Now I've got some much thicker cable here. It's off a power supply. So I think I might use that. The camera probably won't pick this up, but on this power cable I've got here, one side is ribbed and the other side is smooth, so you know which side is the positive and which is the negative. And on this cable, one side's got a white stripe on it. So to keep it the same way around, I'll put the ribbed bit of wire where the white wire goes. Okay, that should be fairly simple. Need to solder onto that case there and onto that bit there. The only problem we might have is this wire is going to be so much thicker I'm going to have to open up the little hole it goes in. I expect I can use the soldering iron to do that. even think that's going to fit in there. There's not enough space for it to go round. Well that was quite a struggle to get that back together with the thicker wire in there. You'll see I had to reposition where the cable comes out. But we're in there now. So now the other end needs to go into here. So that bit unscrews, that's where the fuse goes in there, there's a little spring as well, and this just opens up if you're lucky. There we 
go. So we need to solder onto that center point and onto that piece. That's the one with the white wire, so that'll be the one with the ridge on it. Onto there. Put a bit of heat shrink over it to protect it. And the other one onto there. And we'll have the same problem. This is going to be so thick. I may not even be able to get it in there. Might have to trim it a bit. Trim the plastic here. Same way as before, soldering iron. Don't know if I've got any heat shrink big enough for this. I managed to squeeze some of my heat shrink onto there, but oh, it's tight. Alright, that'll do. Now, see if we can get it back together. too thick. I might just drop some hot glue in there to hold it in place though. There we are, a slug of hot glue in there just to make sort of a plug so it won't pull out.
Okay, so there we are with our over the top bit of wire. I might even have to put a bit of tape around there just to make absolutely certain it doesn't pop apart. Right, how can we test it? So there we are, rigged up to my little battery pack there. So eight 1.2s, 9.6 volts. It's expecting 12 volts, but it's lighting up that LED there. So we've got continuity. I'd better go and try it in the car. <laughs> 